An Alameda County Sheriff's investigator used a gas-powered hedge trimmer to destroy marijuana plants, lots of them. The Sheriff's Office raided the San Leandro Warehouse and more than a dozen other locations in Oakland, Hayward, and Castro Valley after an 18-month investigation. This is all marijuana here. This is the best way to get it is we put it in these bags. Um, we'll put it in trucks. The seized plants will be burned in the Central Valley. Marijuana is legal under California state law, but Sergeant Ray Kelly says cultivating it to this scale without proper permits and while laundering the profits is not. This is unsanctioned. This is not legal. This, this does not meet the thresholds and guidelines as prescribed by the state of California. The warehouse on Neptune Drive had rooms for different stages of growth, grow lights, air vents, and jerry rig power hookups. You know, this is basically modern day bootlegging like we saw in the 1920s. Investigators seized up to half a million plants, more than a dozen guns, 12,000 pounds of processed plants worth $42 million and $10 million in cash. This was a very sophisticated and elaborate, almost corporate style uh, cultivation operation. Corporate because workers were treated to break rooms like this one, with flat screen TVs and fine wine stocked in fridges thousand dollar bottles of wine that they would just sip on. After all, a pot grow like this one is hard work. Trimmers spent hours cultivating these plants, sitting on small chairs like this one. Also rated was this warehouse on 77th Avenue in East Oakland, outfitted with 10 generators. It too operated under the radar. When you decide not to operate under those guidelines, uh, life's a lot easier until you get caught. Although seven suspects have been implicated, Others could still be charged. The investigation is ongoing by the Alameda County Sheriff's Office, and they have a lot of marijuana plants to destroy. In San Leandro, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.